Okay, so now I've just set up us for some more serious development. So let's just walk through my changes. So the first thing I know that I'm going to do is that I'm most likely going to update my server a few times. I'm most likely going to update my Webpack configuration or like make changes to like to the client side code. So what I like to do is that I like to create two tasks or two npm scripts which is going to watch my file system. So I created server watch that uses a package called nodemon, which basically all it does is that it watch it watches the given file and if that file or any of its dependencies are updated, it's going to simply rerun node with that script. So if I now make changes to my server, we're actually going to see nodemon just restart my server, which is exactly what I want. And then I'm going to use the webpack watch flag to allow, uh, for with this little script here so that webpack watches the file system as well. So if I change anything on my client side implementation, it's going to actually update. And I usually I run these in two separate tabs. So if I go and make say a let's make a change to something, let's just do a console log or something, foo like that. So what we can now see is that it restarted my server. So if I hit this endpoint here, we should see that indeed it actually logged out foo. And I didn't have to do anything. It's just, it's just a convenience thing. And the same thing goes for what I've been doing over here. So now I've created this little component directory here and I've created my entry point where the application is going to run. So in my main file, we, you see that the dummy component is no longer there. Now we have an actual app component, which is the root element of our React DOM tree, if you will. And that's going to be this component, and this is where like the top-level components are going to live for us. And basically, what we're going to do first is that we are, go we are going to implement the header for yeah, basically for our little story here. So it's going to be this section here. And in the next video, we're going to talk a little bit about picking up a story card and a few other things that you should consider when you start working in an agile way. So let's get into it.